Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, ChatGPT for Matvo. So I made um, lots of lots of attempts, I would say. Um, so the idea was to see if ChatGPT was able to create um, um, simple plugins. The answer is uh, no, or at least um, if um, you have some, you, if you have no knowledge about uh, PHP, uh, if you are asking uh, ChatGPT to create, in fact, plugins, uh, you will be unfortunately uh, disappointed because ChatGPT is using the old documentation of Matomo and then as a result is providing you uh, codes or instructions which are not uh, reliable. Okay, so that's um, I tried for about two days and in fact without knowledge in development you will just copy and paste some codes which are old-fashioned. It will break your Matomo, you will get an internal server error and you will have to deactivate the plugin and so on and so forth. Uh, then I gave it a try to the team, uh, so uh, I thought that it would have been easier for ChatGPT uh, to create some themes. Uh, it's just mainly just some um, twig template, a bit of CSS, uh, but in fact that's the same thing as the plugin. It's um, generating in fact code which is old-fashioned, and even uh, you even need in fact to ask him to modify even for basic things. So for example, I asked him to create a Superman theme and I was super surprised to see that there was no red, neither yellow, it was just uh, blue and, and white. So you need in fact to discuss a lot with, uh, with ChatGPT in order to start to get the right color. And even with this, well, unfortunately it's not, uh, it's not reliable yet. It's, it's though uh, a super assistant, it can really help you uh, correcting your code, but as it's still grabbing the old documentation of Matomo, you cannot really go super fast in developing plugins uh, without any knowledge. So um, I really think that in the future, it will definitely uh, empower Matomo for the creation of plugins. So uh, what is useful is on the other end, uh, oh, unfortunately, it crashed. Uh, let's see if I can get back something. Okay. Unfortunately, what is helpful is to use um, Matomo Tag Manager with ChatGPT. Uh, for this, uh, you can already see some uh, posts by Julian Juneman on LinkedIn. But it for Google Tag Manager. In my case, uh, I got challenged by one of my um, training attendees who asked me. Um, can we measure uh, the, the search performed by uh, browser search on the website? So let's say someone pressing CTRLF. So um, I asked ChatGPT if there was a JavaScript code in order to do so. So I asked the question over here, can you write me a, a custom variable format what I measure in order to measure that out? And surprisingly, um, ChatGPT did it very well. Okay, so here is the instruction. CTRL off. Um, here is custom variable. Uh, here he got a bit uh, confused and pick up custom variable for Matomo instead of Matomo tag manager, but it's not a big deal because I could easily ask him to uh, correct this and push it as an event. What is astonishing here is that ChatGPT fill the data over here with things which make far more sense than what I would have done myself. So for example, here search and activated correspond exactly to what CTRLF is about, whereas if I have done, done it myself, I will definitely would have given a name which would have uh, taken less sense. I tried afterwards to say, okay, but I wish I could get as well uh, the, the input uh, that people are entering within this search bar, but I got no success, though I have the feeling that the code that is giving me um, definitely makes sense and maybe should work, but uh, I, maybe I it did not understood properly, so uh, I did not read in detail the explanation. But just to let you know, when it comes to already known information on the internet, so to say just pure JavaScript, is definitely uh, giving you great, uh, great information. So. Um, next step is about now implementing uh, what I call the browser search. You just pick up a custom HTML tag, you just copy and paste uh, the tag that you want. As I said, unfortunately, 
the full the full one does not work for me so I'm just gonna pick up uh, pick up this one okay so copy the code I'm gonna go over here I'm just gonna copy and paste it this code has to be on all pages makes sense and it will in fact uh, be activated if someone is pressing ctrl f all good over here i can now double check that it's working so i'm going over here i just make the preview as you can see uh, it has not yet been set i cannot see the event Thus, if i press the ctrl g for example nothing is working oh funny ctrl g is as well uh, firing this okay anyway ctrl h okay history and if i press now ctrl f as you can see it's sending what i wanted which is the event activated search and it works uh, the way i expected and as a result the data is now sent to matmos of course i make many attempts so that's the reason why it's in search but as you can see uh, thanks to chat gpt you can easily uh, start now to measure things which were super complicated for a non-developer uh, to produce uh, so it's uh, once more it's not perfect uh, you always need to have a double eye but at least uh, you can work with him uh, asking uh, to make the correction is making them uh, you can definitely ask uh, to make the correction and, and so on and, and so forth so it's really interesting uh, what i found as well which is very really interesting is that uh, when i start to say hey your code does not work um he told me yeah but yes it works it's somehow you who is not using it properly uh so it's typically here why does your code does not work then because i started to be kind of pissed off he said i apologize for the confusion but the code that i'm giving you is working okay and the reason why it's not working is for other reason my code is uh my code is working so i find it kind of fun see that uh, you interact with with him in a certain way that some point is he's kind of having his own personality in order to say hey i'm right and you are wrong um hope uh, you enjoyed this video thanks for watching